Hi, today's topic is more diverted towards urogynecology. There's a particular condition called as stress urinary incontinence. Now what happens over here is any woman who's had even one or more normal deliveries and has had a difficult labor or during labor premature bearing down with the labor pains or weight gain eventually with her age, such women are prone to develop a condition called as SUI or stress urinary incontinence where the neck of the bladder comes below the pelvic flow muscle. Now when the neck of the bladder comes below the pelvic flow muscle, it loses its strength to hold urine. And the common symptoms are a woman would say immediately after she coughs or sneezes or even like, you know, laughs while talking to somebody. She spurts out two, three drops of urine from the urethra, which is a short urethra onto her under panties and she stains it, leading to embarrassment, foul smell, staining the clothes and whatever was associated with it. With prolonged age, with prolonged weight gain, with lack of pelvic flow strengthening, this could get only worse. Now, how do we deal with the patient who has this condition? First, you have to make sure that it's not overactive bladder that happens commonly in diabetes. It's a genuine stress urinary incontinence. And that can be easily taken care of by certain exercises called as Kegel's exercises. So what are Kegel's exercises? Kegel's exercises are simple exercises that make the pelvic flow muscle strong. This is something which is, you know, taught to many patients in clinics or even on the internet. But if the patient is not having a respite, despite doing Kegel's exercises regularly, that patient deserves a procedure called as a trans-obturator tape. This is a procedure in which a tape of a polypropylene mesh is used to insert just under the urethra, which is the ex external part of the urethral meatus, to cause fibrosis and firming of the sub-urethra. But before doing any condition, any treatment of at all of this condition, you have to have to have to do a thorough evaluation in your clinic and make sure the patient has genuine stress urinary incontinence. If you do it for a patient who has overactive bladder, nothing will improve and you might even make it worse. So as I've always said, proper thorough evaluation, proper making of diagnosis and then the proper management. Hope this helps all the listeners. This is our first series on neurogynecology. Thank you. It's our prime responsibility to give our women uninterrupted and excellent health because they are the main foundation of our family. Hi, my name is Dr. Ankesh Sayatya. I'm a gynecologist and sexologist from Mumbai. For the best content in women's health care and her gynecological health kindly follow us on kya matlab thank you